What's good, everyone? This is the Kid DC Wrestling back at it again with another video with your July 30th, 2021 SmackDown review. Now, before I get into the SmackDown review, man, two things I want to mention, man. Number one, man, go check out my latest video. In my latest video, well, my last video, I talked about the five WWE wrestlers who I believe could be top stars, the big dogs in the next year or two in the WWE. And the second thing, man, make sure to subscribe to the channel, man. We have 428. We're just two subs away from 430, man. We can get to 430. You know, if you just subscribe, like, comment, share, tell your friends about this channel. It'll be much appreciated. But nah, man, we ain't gonna waste no more time, man. Get to the SmackDown review. Overall, I thought the SmackDown was actually pretty good, actually. I mean, we saw the return of Sasha Banks. We saw the contract signing. And yeah, man, like, it was a great SmackDown. Great show in Minneapolis. At the Target Center. But we're not going to waste any time, man. We kicked off with John Cena. You know, just talking about how, you know, he has no problem, you know, with how it, being rejected, you know, obviously with the contract signing and stuff like that. And, you know, he just goes on to talk about how, you know, this shows how Roman Reigns sucks and how Roman Reigns is afraid of him and stuff like that. Baron Corbin comes out and Baron Corbin's like, hey, man, like, for real, like, I need your help, John. You're a star. Like, please help me. And Cena gives him dollar, but, you know, Baron's like, this is all you got, man? You're a Hollywood star and stuff like that. You're a Hollywood sellout. And John gives Baron Corbin to AA, and that's what happens. That, that's how the segment ends. So, yeah, great segment. Great opening segment for SmackDown. So we kicked off the next match for the, well, the first match of the night. SmackDown Tag Team Champion Jimmy Uso versus Rey Mysterio. This is actually pretty good. You know, it's a great opener. You know, Ray looked great as always. You know, man, Ray, man, I don't know how old. I think he's like, what, 40 some years old. And he's like just continuing to put on these pretty good matches. Like, kudos to Ray, man. You know, you got my respect. You know, more, more respect to him. But like I said, man, Ray gets the win here. Um, Usos are not happy about that, obviously. So, yeah. So now we get Bianca Belair in the ring, man. She obviously, it's, I guess, a little celebration for her reaching. Um, 110 days, well, over 110 days milestone for the SmackDown uh, women's title. You know, you have Carmella come out and then, you know, she's like, I want one more title shot. And then for some reason, Zelina Vega's coming out. And I thought this was ridiculous because like Zelina Vega, you should have no business being out there challenging for a title in, in any capacity, dude. You're like 0-3. You're 0-3. Haven't won a match since you've been back, bro. So, Come on, man. But nonetheless, 2-on-1 beatdown. Sasha Banks comes out, and Sasha Banks makes a return. We obviously haven't seen her since WrestleMania. So, yeah, man, it, that was that leads to a tag team match player for the main event. Now, this was honestly weird. We had a 24-7 title match, Chad Gable versus Reginald. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't call him Reginald. I meant to say Reggie. This was weird because... Otis comes out, and we're thinking, okay, it's going to be Otis versus Reggie. Otis is like, you're not facing me. You're facing him. So it ends up becoming Chad Gable and Reggie, and Reggie wins by DQ. You know, Chad was getting his butt kicked, and Otis comes in, which was weird because this was 24-7 and no rules. Otis really could have beat down Reggie, and even before the match, he could have beat him up some more, and Chad could have won the match. So, this whole thing was kind of chaotic. It was a mess for me. This was easily probably the worst part of SmackDown for me tonight. But we get the big contract signing next, man. Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, you know, they're coming out. You know, Roman's actually praising Finn Balor, you know, unlike John Cena, who's doing the same old stick. You know, you, you're you hungry. You want this. You really want this, and I respect that about you. So, you know, and as soon as they're about to sign the contract, well, Finn Balor is, you know, Baron Corbin comes out. He's attacking Balor. He's beating up Balor. He's, he throws him over. And it looks like that Corbin is about to sign the contract. But instead, John Cena comes out, attacks Corbin, signs the contract instead. And Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville officially make it official. So it's official. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. The main event of SummerSlam 2021. It's not Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns. It's not Finn Balor versus John Cena versus Roman Reigns. It's not Baron Corbin versus Finn Balor versus John Cena versus Roman Reigns. It is Roman Reigns versus John Cena. So for all you people that were getting pissed off 
acting like, oh, why would they do this to Finn Balor? Looks like you done got served. So, swerved. You know, you remember that little TV show that WWE used to do on the network called Swerved? A little prank show. But um, nonetheless, man, we get a six-man tag team match player. Zaro Big E, King Nakamura versus Robert Rude, Dolph Ziggler, and Apollo Crews. Now, this match was actually last week. But, you know, because we were all at home watching Rolling Loud and stuff, the people who only got to see this match was at the arena on when this match happened. So they're obviously doing it this week for the people who can watch it on TV. And it's an okay match. Okay, solid six-man tag team match. Shinsuke pins the champ. So that's obviously going to mean that we're, that's what we're heading towards, Nakamura versus um, Apollo for the IC belt. Hey, that's going to be cool. Now, Edge comes out and, you know, we were going to get an Edge little segment there, but Rollins attacked him during the commercial break, and he was laying Edge out, and he was just raving. I mean, just going in on to Edge with Rollins, man. And, yeah, so they're, they're building up Rollins and Edge. So, yeah, now we get the main segment of the night, the main event tag team match. Playa, Zelina Vega, and Carmella versus Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. And it was a solid match, you know. But it's the ending thing. Obviously, it's going to get people talking. In the end, Sasha Banks attacks Bianca Belair after they won the match. She's putting her in the bank statement and all that. She wants the title. And this is, we obviously know where this is going to lead to. Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair 2 at SummerSlam. It can't get any bigger than this. So, like I said, man, I thought this SmackDown was, you know, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good episode of SmackDown. The, the build for SummerSlam continues. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling. Again, subscribe to the channel. And so, um, yeah.